Hello and welcome to City Skylines. This is Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I am your humble host, Christopher Tarantola. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today we are going to expand out our area near our golf course here. So as you can see, we've done a couple things. We've added a an exchange here to, to get on and off the freeway with relative ease. And um, I think one thing I need to, to do is it's registering these things as intersections, and we don't want that. So I need to get in here and click on these symbols here so that they don't register them as intersections and they'll just blow right through. Um, just like that. And just like that. And I think you can also do that here as well. Now, now that we've done that, uh, the, that ought to run even smoother than it already was. And we might need to do that here too. Let me check that. Let's see. Yeah, we'll want to do that here as well. You know what else I need to check is, yeah, we want to go ahead and up the speed limit on this. Because while I used a small road, um, those are really slip lanes and they don't need to be that, that speed. And we can up this to 60 there. Kind of just to increase the speed of everything there. Okay, great, so now that we've got that figured out, um, I think you know we're, we've got a neighborhood here that's uh, still being filled out. Um, it's, it's coming along nicely though. Got a golf course here. Nobody is visiting the golf course. My best guess is that um, the game doesn't register these uh, as accessible to the Sims or Something along those lines. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with it. It's not like I've walked, I watched anything or read up on anything. I just I got it and plopped it, and it looks pretty good at the very least. I wish there was some uh, activity though, so we might have to do something about that uh, later on. But I wanted to um, kind of finish off this, um, the back end of this. Um, you know, I don't think I'm going to build too terribly much around this area here. I might have a, a small transition area, but not a heck of a lot going on there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So here, um, you know, we have demand for some uh, industrial and uh, commercial. No, I'm not going to put any uh, industrial, save maybe some offices. But we can put some decent uh, commercial here. I'm just going to use that one instead of the one with the trees. I think that makes more sense. And I'm going to come off the grid here like this. And then come this way. Okay. And so this is just creating a bit more of a rigid uh, grid than what is already here. And that'll kind of visually also denote what is to be the. Sorry, I can't. I I just can't chew and and uh, chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. That'll denote what is the the differentiate the commercial from the residential over here, which is a little bit more curvilinear and organic. Um, and we could have maybe like one cross street here. Right, and maybe what we, we can also do is we could continue this one out and then kind of curve it up a little bit. And then we'll have it go straight. And that'll kind of be our edge there. And uh, yeah, I guess we can continue this on straight across. And you know what I'll do is at this point, I might delete a couple of these and then bring it across like that. I actually really like that a lot. And 
I'll bring it across here as well. And I'll even do that number. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks good. It's a little bit uh, un unkilled. Uh, maybe what we want to do is uh, we'll bring it. We'll go ahead and bring this up this way. Like that. And then I want to micromanage this intersection here a little bit. Let's see how it looks with the grid. I want to see that grid. There we go. I really don't want this grid here. I wish I could just... Uh, Sometimes it just annoys me how they, they do the corners on these grids. Okay, um, so there's that. I think that should do it. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure I have my water all laid out, which I don't um, for this area. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. We're just going to continue what we already got going. No need to create a new par series of parallel pipes. All right, that ought to work. And then uh, we will go ahead and just zone it. And nice big zones. I love that. Always feels good when you got a, a nice big complete solid block, which is all 90 degree. You know, when you're doing a grid, you might as well do the grid. You know what I'm saying? Like, that one didn't feel as good because it's got two. These felt great because they're all one. There we go. Get that little guy up in there. And, oh, uh, we can also go along here. about right there and call our day all right and that's already growing and uh, helping with the demand there now, I do have some industrial demand let's take a look at our industrial so we're obviously we're importing a ton of mail that's actually I might want to put a post office over here as well um, but let's go ahead and do that post office here um, well the post office might make more sense to go over here, something along these lines here. I don't know that it, I'd probably just stick it right there. I think that it's actually a, a really good spot for it. Uh, as far as it makes sense, it's just coming right off the freeway straight to there and then they can, that guy can dole it out to all the rest of these areas. And I'm not going to make everything super green. I mean, I've, I've already sparsely done it as, as it is. I might add one over here. It might make sense to go ahead and add one over here. Um, yeah, we'll do it right there. Right there. Alright, cool. And we, we will move that over just to make it look better. There we go. All right. So I think that's pretty good. I complained about not having power. I'll probably do something along the lines of hiding a power line up in here. And it'll be pretty, pretty unobtrusive. We'll probably never see that thing again. Like it, you're look, you're looking at it, but I mean, and that thing is. It's nice and hidden. So. Alright. Needs some. Looks like maybe some death care around here. So let's take care of that. I always use this crematorium and funeral home. Uh, it's from the. It, it is uh, an asset from the. By populace it says right there. 
and, and it's 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 a great asset. Um, it makes it to where I don't have to worry about depth care because honestly, I think it's it's a bit much for the kind of gameplay I'm trying to play at least. So it really helps me to just play the game I want to play without having to worry about all that other stuff. Um, you know, I like the idea of having cemeteries and having cemeteries fill up, and maybe I should use them more. But at the same time, I don't want to have a cemetery at every little location in my city. You know, I'm 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 doing a very spread out city, and you know, I, ostensibly people that live over here are going to come over here to to golf, and then they're going to go over here to visit this park every once in a while, and then you know these people that are living here and they work over here, they also will travel into town to do stuff, and so um, there's no need to, to duplicate that kind of stuff, I think, the way it is done. Yeah, that's it's wanting some power over here, but that power is coming. It's it's on its way, so I'm not going to do anything about that. Um, yeah, so I've kind of updated this. Now, I think we should go ahead and connect this to the freeway here, um, just to, to finish that off. The way we're going to do that is we're just going to can come straight off here to there and then kind of curve it around there and then we'll have one that goes up and over and then connects and connects, really connects that way. And so it's going to be very much the same kind of uh, interchange that this is right here. It's just going to be on a curve. Okay, so to start off with, what we'll actually do is we will grab the this road here, basic road with trees. It is um, and we'll, we will still go free form with it. So we're just going to come straight off 90, uh, 180 degrees, I should say. Go to about right there, and then. We're going to page up to 9 meters, and we're going to kind of go diagonal across over here. Now, here I am going to make it straight, just for the sake of making it straight, and then I'm going to go back to the curvy. I'm going to curve it down, but I'm also going to uh, go down in elevation back to ground level here. And then at this point, I'm just going to go to my highway ramp here. And I'm going to come straight off 180, but then I'm going to um, curve it about 90 degrees here. And then I'm going to take the toggle node off so it doesn't automatically toggle. I'm going to click it there to come back this way like that a little while. You don't always have to do it this way, and I usually actually don't, but I'm going to do it on this one. I think it'll look better, and then I'll, I'll bring it on in. Okay, and so then, um, I'm going to come back out, I'm going to take those back off, I'm going to click there, and we're going to come again 180 degrees off of it, and control A to turn on um, anarchy, that's the word, okay, and then we're going to come over here, and have it kind of meet up along with the freeway for just a bit, and then it'll come on in. And connect okay it's a nice and clean so we'll go to our move it mod over here and we do need to move this down just a wee bit so that it it glitch it doesn't glitch out on us and then we might uh, want to manage these curves a little bit so I'm gonna move this over here I'm gonna call also hold down alt um, and it's not working as much as I'd like it to but um, I think I'll, maybe that's that's why. So I'm gonna hold down Alt here, see if I can't get it to look a little bit better. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. And then I want this to to be straight, not straight straight, but there we go. Um, and I don't mind having the curve a little bit more over here. And I don't. I wouldn't mind bringing that in this way a little bit too. There we go. I wouldn't mind that actually going, uh, being straight and coming straight off of this road over here. 
So if this was straight, and so was this, what would that look like? I think that looks actually better. All right, so that that looks pretty good there. Now we do want to re obviously reverse the direction so um, that it's actually an off ramp and not an on ramp. That makes more sense, okay. And then we'll go back to our move it mod over here. And this is already, because of the way I laid it, it, it it's really nice and smooth, so I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Just at the end here, um, I'm gonna make that a little bit more of a straight. And I don't know, I don't, it's already showing up as a straight, so I'm not even going to mess with it there. That one, I'm just going to leave it as this. So we're going to go back over here, and now we're going to connect the other side. So um, here, kind of want to go from where it is straight and come straight off that way, but I think that's just um, too much. So I think the tangent needs to start right there, and just try and come off as a tangent here. We'll obviously need to work on how that looks later with the movement mod. We're we'll connect back up where it goes to four lanes here, just like that. Okay, and then we'll we'll mess with that later again with the movement mod. Now I'm going to come straight off here, and I'm going to give it a nice, good, clean curve. And what we really want to do is we want to come straight on in. So here we go. Now we got to go to our movement mod. We want to make that nice and straight and even move it to be as tangential as we can. So we want this to tangent with this curve over here. It's not quite going to do it, but we're going to do it as much as we can. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hold Alt and make that curve nice and clean. But we're going to need to bring it out like that. There we go. And probably need to bring it up just a wee bit more. I don't know. That actually seemed like it worked better when it was close, though. So. There we go. Alright. And then this one we need to have straight. Maybe I need to move this around a little bit. Maybe if I make that straight. How does that look? We need to get it to look good. It was almost there. There we go. That looks great. So now, need to just make that kind of curve appropriately. And we obviously need to make this work better than it is working. <laughs> it's messing up all that traffic. It's kind of funny. I think part of the problem is we're, we're getting too close to that. Uh, deal there so yeah that makes it work a lot better and so we can really pull it out all right and then I want that to just come off straight and I want that to just be nice clean curve oh yeah that looks great don't you think and so now we have our our little thing so uh, next things we need to do is we need to go to our uh, traffic manager, President Edition, and we're going to go to our lane connector here. And then we're going to just click on the intersections that we need to manage here. And we're going to make sure that we divide up the traffic appropriately. So each lane is going to get its own direction. Um, that way, everything runs really nice and smooth. You're not actually merging anything except the roads themselves, the asphalt part. The lanes are all going to be able to keep their own lane. Now here, you are going to merge the lanes, and that's okay. Um, lanes merge actually pretty decently in this game uh, when you give them enough room. And, you know, you notice these, this intersection basically spans this whole area, so it's a nice big intersection. So it, it's going to merge pretty good there. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And one last one over there. And then we need to do the same thing here. Where it just goes nice and straight. And you got the options there. And we'll do this one. Come on nice and cleanly to the freeway. All right. 
right, and then lastly, we will get this. Well, I don't know about lastly. I think there'll be more than just this one. Um, and see, there's no crossing there, so uh, that ought to make it nice and clean. We've already done that one, did that one, this one, and this one. Okay, so, yeah, that was lastly. Okay, so now we're going to go to the junction restrictions on the traffic manager. We're going to make sure that everybody is treating it just like they are here as uh, not a junk, not not as an intersection, but just as a, I don't know, just, just as regular road. So they just going to keep on going, not going to slow down for nothing, because there's no need to. There's no need to slow down for anything. There we go. You notice how they're going slow, and then as soon as they hit that, they're going to go fast. So we also want to do our speed limits here. So I would do this at 90, and I'm going to hold down shift and click, uh, or and then drag over the two circles there. Okay, and hold down shift, click, and then drag over the two circles there. Okay, and that way everything stays at 80 miles an hour. Um, we're also going to want to, I think this is showing up as a light, so we're going to turn this light off. There we go. So that's not a light. Um, now, they are moving really slow there. Um, so I think I'm going to need to work on that with my traffic manager here. I wonder if that will make it go faster. Let's see how they go. Yeah, see now they're going nice and quick through that intersection, which is what we want. We don't want that little slowdown. I don't know why it's slowing down. It shouldn't be treating it as an intersection. Did I have those turned off? It's just not quite working right. <laughs> I think it's because it's it's just so oblique. It's too much. Oh, right now it's just glitching up because it's saving. So bear with us there. Come on. There we go. So that one works really well. I need some more traffic to see how to keep testing it. Kind of going into the road there a little bit. It's a little funky. Yeah, see, they're stopping. That's no good. Alright, so let's, um... Let's manage it with the, the move it mod. Let's see if we can bring it closer, but also have it come out a little bit. Okay, and then we'll just adjust this accordingly. There we go. That's adjusted. We'll just adjust this, I think, accordingly as well. It doesn't look as good to me, but at the same time, uh, it'll run better, and that makes a big difference. So I'd rather it run better than look better. I'd rather it be both, but sometimes you, you just got to work with what you got. Same thing like with over here, something's going on with that. I don't think it's the speed limit. It's not the speed limit, it's just that's such a tight turn there. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to leave that be because when you have that tight of a turn, yeah, you're going to slow down. There's only so much you can do about that. So, now we got that nice and connected. Um, you know, that kind of uh, goes with this one and that. All Both of them, you can go in all four directions. But I expect that a lot of less uh, traffic is going to be coming on to off of this right here or going on that U-turn because they did it on the junction we just worked on. And I expect that a lot less, a lot more traffic is going to come on here. And so therefore, it's not going to be coming here and doing a U-turn. Now, I am getting a lot of that. I think that's because we have this direction here. So we're getting more of it than we would have at the other side. Now, one way to, to deal with that better would be to actually create a flyover. So, we but we, we have this flyover here, so we got to be careful. If we did it here and then came right back off, we're creating a lot of turbulence in the streams here. Um, and that would be the natural point where you want to come off to come on. You, you come up, 
go over here and then you uh, go over here and then you come down something along those lines um, that's what would make the most sense to do but at the same time I think that would look so awful and this will get the job done so we're just gonna leave it as is I think uh, that works the best and that doesn't and it, you know there's no space between the two that uh, what we could perhaps do is eventually if it made sense uh, we can continue these roads out here and create a an on off ramp over here and that would probably alleviate that loop right there quite a bit so let's see how things are looking I guess I'm abandoned probably because of lack of jobs yeah it looks like it's a lack of job so we need an education education over here none of these folks are educated so we need to change that up it's gonna be a pretty hoity toity neighborhood right so I'm gonna stick all the schools kind of like over here and I'm gonna use the, the uh, from the green cities uh, the green city versions turn the that off because we don't think we need that there and I'm even going to I'm, I'm wondering about getting that modern institute do we need it? We don't really need it. So, I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and we get those two, and so that ought to educate everybody pretty well. Um, now, there's really no public transportation out here, and you know what? I'm going to leave it that way, because I think uh, that's a bit honestly more realistic, and everybody here would be car dependent, um, if it's, at least in America, I don't know about other places, but... Um, you know, at best, we might have a bus stop. So I might put in, like, one bus line coming through here. I already have one bus line that stops right there. Um, and it made sense to me. Oh, oh, look, we're getting a lot of people using it now. It just came off the bus stop here. They came around, they're going in. So it's getting a lot more use. That's great. Um, I don't think I'm going to see anybody actually golfing. I don't think we have that ability to see that, um, but you know what, I'll take people walking through the park, walking through the golf course. That to me means, okay, it's being used, and really what they're doing is they're using it as a way to uh, walk over to here, um, to, to these houses here, which is kind of interesting. Alright, well, that's one way to get the use out of your, your golf course. Have it go someplace that people want to go and have them walk through it. I guess I'd rather walk through the golf course than anything else, right? In any case, um, so there's that. And, you know, we've got the rest of the city here. I think that's going to be it for this episode, actually. Um, going to call that a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.